How do you transfer your files from your Dropbox account to your Google Drive account? Let's find out. Thanks for the click. My name's Steve. If you're looking to be more productive or create more content and you want a little assistance, I'm your guy. Now, there are a few ways to transfer files from your Dropbox account to your Google Drive account. This first way is the easiest. In Dropbox, click on the menu button next to the item that you want to download. Click download. Then drag the file from your computer over to Google Drive. The file will upload and you're good to go. But what if you want to transfer more than just one file? Well, you could go in and download each file one by one by one by one by one by one. But that's a little crazy. An alternative method is to use a cloud storage manager. The one I like to use is called Malt Cloud, and it lets me take all of my cloud services and manage it in one place. After signing up to Malt Cloud with your Gmail account, add your Google Drive and Dropbox accounts to the list of managed drives. Then, select the file in Dropbox you want to move to your Google Drive. Right click, select copy, choose the destination, and now in this case I'm creating a brand new folder, then click transfer. Check the status bar in the lower right corner to see the progress of the transfer. Once it says the transfer is complete, you'll see the file is now in your Google Drive folder. Another cool feature with Mult Cloud is the schedule feature. This lets you set up transfers to happen automatically on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis. Choose the cloud transfer option at the top of the screen. Set the to and from directories in your Dropbox and Drive account. Then click the schedule button to set the schedule. Now, make sure you schedule the transfer at a time when there's not a lot of internet traffic. If you've got somebody at this end of the house using their laptop and somebody at this end on their smartphone and somebody upstairs using Netflix streaming on TV, it's going to slow down the internet. The transfer is going to make things even worse. It's going to suck. Ideally, you'll set this up on non-peak hours. Now, in this example, I'm setting my transfers to occur at 3 a.m. every day. I'll click Save Schedule. Then I'll click Add Task Only to activate the schedule. At any time, if I want to transfer my files on demand, I'll click my profile up top, then click the Transfer Now button. Now, if you really want to step up your productivity, make sure you watch the video on the screen right now. If you don't, I'm going to start singing. And you really don't want me to do that. Trust me. La 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 la.